Well guys, assuming there's no delays, uh, 1.2 should come out this week off of the PTR onto live servers. That was the original plan. We saw before that the date was listed as the 14th of December. That date has since been wiped off the announcement, so we don't know for sure that it'll come out this week. But this week was the original plan for the release date of this patch. So with that being said, uh, there are some things I want to talk about as far as what should we invest in before this patch that could go up after the patch. Now in some of my previous videos we talked about cooking ingredients, which was a big one. Uh, but there's a lot of other things. And this is something that's going to be server by server. And low pop servers is going to be totally hit or miss, first off. And even on high pop servers it's going to be kind of random because every server is different. But I'm just going to run through a bunch of different options with you guys. I'm going to explain the logic behind them. And you guys can make decisions on whichever ones you want. Now by all means, don't by every single thing that I say because maybe some of the things I'll say are wrong but I'm gonna to explain to you the logic behind some of these options so that you guys can make choices for yourselves with the information that I'm presenting to you now here's the thing the reason that a lot of these prices are gonna change especially in the short term is because of trade skill aptitude which we can't see here because I'm on the live server when recording this the way that it's gonna work which I've said a million different times but maybe there's people aren't familiar is once you hit 200 uh, once a PTR is live once you hit 200 you can keep going forever on the wheel and every time you go through the cycle a full cycle will get you three chests and those chests will give you items now the ones that people are going to be after the most are weaponsmithing armoring engineering and arcana because those give recipes to make a guaranteed 600 gear score item where you get to control an attribute and you get to control a perk now uh on the databases that I've seen, the jewel crafting one doesn't give any patterns, but that may change when it goes live. I really don't know, which is kind of weird. Like, are there no ring patterns? Okay, anyway, uh, because of that, these are the ones people really want. So then you have to ask yourself, what are people going to use to level these, right? Well, let's start with Arcana, because that one's a little different than the others. So Arcana, it's going to be Azoth Water and Hyssop are the main culprits of what you're going to need in order to do that. You're also going to need other random ingredients, but those ones, I don't know, they could change, but it's not gonna be too crazy, I wouldn't imagine. Uh, I think you need a medicinal reagent, which I can't remember the name of a single one. So we're gonna go to, if you wanna look at reagents, it's potion reagents, and then we can go to medicinal reagents. Uh, you know, you can just use whatever, I'm pretty sure nowadays. And then uh, another thing you could also do is buy as alkahest, already made, because we're making infused alkahest to make the infused health potions. Uh, and then as for infused health potions, uh, at least for the first week, especially on medium to high pop servers, my guess would be, and this is just my guess, if you disagree, that's fine, but my guess is uh, infused health potions will go down even, and the, okay, so like the, the mats will go up, but the potions will go down. So like at least the first few days or a week, because everyone's going to be buying these things to level up their arcana out of curiosity. They're like, I want to I make one of these patterns. I want to see. I want to know what this is about. So they're going to buy this stuff. And then they're going to have a crap ton of infused health potions and be undercutting the crap out of each other. Now, how much will it fall? I don't know. Maybe a gold or two, three gold from nine to six, nine to eight or nine to seven or something. It won't be huge. Uh, but that's definitely things to consider. Maybe unloading infused health potions at the peak. Uh, maybe holding your Azoth water till after the patch. Uh, you could farm Azoth water. I have a really good Azoth water farming route. I'll put it in the description. Um, but yeah, so Azoth water is going to be a huge one. And again, Hisops is also going to be huge uh, because of people wanting to level up that Arcana. Um, oil might potentially go up because you can also use that to level a little bit, but I wouldn't expect it to go too crazy. Although it's also going to be used in furnishing, but furnishing, unless they put that trophy mat back as the tier three reward, we're not gonna see a whole lot of that being grinded. But then that takes us to other trade skills. So let's take a look at the other ones. So engineering, armoring, weaponsmithing. Well, weaponsmithing is gonna be an unfortunate one because the only real thing you can do with weaponsmithing is gonna be with orc alchemy ingots. Now orc alchemy ingots, knowing that this is gonna happen, they've already risen a lot. So it's kind of a risky thing. There's not a lot of reward, like, unless they're going to go to, like, 50 or something, which seems kind of far-fetched, uh, at least for my server's prices. On your server, it could be scaled differently, but, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Unless they go, like, way up compared to where they're at, it's like, do you really want to risk that much money? But uh, after this goes through, if the first week people are like, I want to do this now, I own Windsward, and I have a trillion dollars, I'm just going to buy everything because I want to see what this is like, and they just do it then you might just see like prices go through the roof or like orc alchemy and get stuff like that where 
you have to use orichalcum ingots to level. Um, so the other ones though are for what was it, engineering. You can use wordwood planks, which now cost a fortune now that the doggos are gone. And then there was ironwood planks. These are the two options other than orichalcum uh, for engineering. So if people want to do engineering, expect them to be buying up these. Uh, so that's another one to consider. Uh, it depends on the price. It depends on what you want to do, but it's definitely like on the shopping list for things to get before the patch goes live, because everyone's going to be wanting to burn these after the patch goes live. Now, the, uh, that leaves us though with armoring. Now, with armoring, uh, you might have some good opportunities. I wonder if they're filled yet. Last night they were still here, so we got infused leather, which is still somewhat affordable, and infused silk. Now, these are the two that you're going to want to be looking at. Infused silk and infused leather. Now, these ones are probably, I mean, I don't, honestly, I'm considering doing it. I just don't feel like dealing with the storage, to be honest with you guys. But, like, uh, infused silk and infused leather are good investments right now because armoring is one that you know people are going to want to be going around that wheel. And these things are actually affordable. Like, you can actually get these at a reasonable price on my server. I only have my own one sample here. There might be other servers that's not reasonable, but... And again, if you're on a low pop server, none of this may be reasonable. It's just uh, look at all these and pick and choose if any of this makes sense to you. Um, but yeah, so infused leather and infused silk, these are good investments because they're the bread and butter of leveling up your um, armoring. But that also gives us another option, which would be sticky vines. But they still haven't fixed it. You still can't search for them. So in order to get your first sticky vines, if you don't feel like going into a dungeon, you can just... Uh, Close that tray, but let's go back to st reset it. And then go to tier, make it so there's no tier. And then you can scroll through one page at a time on all the items that have, uh, don't have a, a tier level. And eventually, if there are any listed, on low pop server, there may be none listed. But eventually, if you're lucky, you'll go through here and you'll find something like sticky vines or spectral dust or something. You know, mainly, it's, it's sticky vines and spectral dust. Those are the only ones we're looking for. Those are the ones for the tier 5 armoring uh, patterns. And if you can get a hold of one, then what you can do is you can go to sell it and then you can organize it alphabetically until you get down to S and there are sticky vines. And then you can see what the buy and sellers are. You go to sell one and you can see where they're at. They're at 1.5. Okay. And then very painstakingly, you go by price. And if it's in the first 500 pages, you're just going to hit next page like this until you get to whatever price it's at. And the reason that we're going to do this is if you can get those for cheap enough, it'll give you bonus XP on your armoring. And so you can expect people are going to want to buy those up in order to uh, be more efficient rounding that wheel in order to get their armoring caches so that they can try to get those 600 patterns. Well, I made it to the Sticky Vines page. It was page 413. So if the price is too high, you probably won't be able to get them like this. In which case, the only other way you're going to be able to do it is to sort by tier again and just go page by page hoping you get lucky and see them. Uh, maybe there's another way to do it, but those are the only ones I'm familiar with because you can't go by name anymore. I don't I don't know. You just can't go alphabetical, which kind of sucks. Uh, even though I don't know if that would help or not. But yeah, so you're going to buy these up. I'm going to buy these up actually because I want to get some armory and caches. That sounds fun. So I'm going to go ahead and buy these up. But anyway, let me move on to the next thing. Another thing to consider is people who do want to level up their jewel crafting anyway or if they upgrade the caches uh, so they actually don't suck. There are two ways to level jewel crafting. One is to do basic level gems, just save on moats, although it's not really the greatest. Uh, at the current prices on my server, at least, and this is, again, server by server. On my server, powerful and strong gemstone dust are probably the way to go because I can often get these pristine gems for under 10 apiece, get 2,775 jewel crafting XP, whereas if I make normal jewelry, not only do I need the silver, but I need a cut ruby, which takes... I think it was like three wisps, which is then 15 moats, which is over 15 coins, plus the rubies for like less than half the XP. So generally, we're just going to go with powerful gemstone dust or strong gemstone dust. So what you're going to do to search for these, if you want to buy these up now, on my server, it might not be reasonable because I told some friends about it just so they could level up their jewel crafting. But you're going to go to ingredients, and then you're going to go to raw resources. You can't use cut ones gonna go down here to raw gemstones and then in here you're just going to hit next page and you're just gonna buy anything that's below certain price intervals so at first you're obviously only gonna see flawed and then you're gonna keep going until you see these ones 
Now, I don't know where the cutoff should be for these ones. Maybe two or something for the green ones. Maybe three. I don't know if I'd go as high as three on those. You can also, you know, turn those into gemstone dust if you want. Uh, so if any of these are cheap enough, you can turn them into gemstone dust. And so people are going to realize that. Oh, like these. Oh, my God. What a deal on these. Less than three apiece for Brilliant Jasper. I'll leave that one. I don't feel like clicking it for just one. But yeah, you see what I mean? You go through here and you'll just buy up these and then you'll sell them back uh, when... This goes live, hoping that people are wanting to level up jewel crafting and willing to pay more than before. And the best way to do that is going to be buying cheapo gems like this, converting them into dust. So just go through, find things that are, you know, whatever feels cheap or feels right to you. You got to be your own investor here. But yeah, if you go far enough, you'll eventually see the pristines in here, which I really want to show you some. So give me a second. We're clicking through. I want to see where the cheapest pristines are today. Oh, man, I really need to go through here after this video. I need to buy all this stuff. Like, dang, that was some cheap brilliance right there we were looking at. But I'm hoping. So I guess my uh, company members, uh, I told them they wanted to level their jewel crafting. I guess they got done their jewel crafting 200 now because they have not been buying the last two days, apparently. So, well, no, they've been buying the pristine, I guess. There's no pristines in here. But those brilliance are still good. All right, pristines. Yeah, there's some in here. Oh, God, it's hardly worth clicking for so few of them, though. But you get the point. So that's another thing you could look at to try to turn after the patch when people are excited and going overboard trying to get these uh, aptitudes up as quickly as possible. Also, if people do want to level furnishing or if they put the trophies back in, then the ones that you're going to see go up are pure solvent, oil, uh, potent solvent potentially. Not as likely though. And then I don't, per I don't remember putting a buy order for that. Anyway, uh, so... The other one was beeswax, which in order to search beeswax, you go for powder horn and then click down here on beeswax because it's not listed. Although that's not really affordable. Uh, but those are the ones you're going to want to look at also. And then as for the cooking ones, I already made a video, so I didn't really mention it, but I guess I should mention it. Uh, the good ones for cooking ingredients are pork belly, which are now through the roof because of my video. And then rice, which is probably somewhat through the roof because of my video. And then there were apples. And then there's tomatoes, and there's coconuts, coconuts, sorry, coconuts. Uh, and they're all through the roof now because my video, people realize what I said makes perfect sense. So they bought them all up. Oh my god, even pork is up. What about red meat? Man, if you're ever going to go skinning animals, now would be the time to turn that money. Uh, fish fillets. Uh, yeah, they're, I mean, heck, we can just look at what I own. I don't, why am I even searching? You just pick from these. These items are generally the ones that are the cheapest to buy. But if that's if you if you even can now, that video affected the price, which makes sense because uh though I don't know if you, you just gotta go watch that video to see why it makes sense. It's because of these. We're gonna be getting these. But anyway, uh so that is those ones. Now we may see refining ones change. So uh not only because I don't know why anyone wants to level the refining ones, they don't give anything good, but there may be a demand for the end materials for the trade skills, so you may see people processing a lot more materials. And uh, this one's a complete speculative maybe at best, I'm not sure. But we got flux, we got sandpaper, obsidian sandpaper, we have the solvent, which I already showed. We have uh, aged tannin, and I always forget the fifth thing, but you get the point, these ones. Uh, these are the ones that, that may change just because people be burning through so many mats. And if people are burning through mats, we may see a jump in things like rawhide, iron ore. And a lot of this stuff, if these things change, it's probably going to be just, you know, short term, like a week. Uh, but overall, I do want to say something. that This aptitude system is so good for the economy because it gives people a reason to throw away materials, basically. And by doing that, they're going to be increasing the prices by decreasing the supply of these items. So for the economy, for the whole inflation deflation argument people have... It's going to be so good for the game that people just are throwing away this many mats. Like, I'm really excited to see how it affects the economies. And one last thing to take a look at would be over in potion reagents. And then just going through each of the protective or offensive reagents. And looking at the uh, tier 5s. So, uh, just going down here and being like, earth shell tail. Just through the roof. Spine fish fins through the roof. And even maybe the tier 4s, potentially. If you can get them cheap. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on these ones, though. Because compared to... The tier 5 Azoth, water, whatever cycles. I don't know. But, man, Animal Viscera is still 0.78. Dang, dude. How are the other ones so expensive? Why would you ever use Cod Eye or any of that? Just use Animal Viscera. Jeez. But, yeah, I don't Those ones are kind of extreme speculatives. Like, I'm just running out of stuff at this point. So, 
Uh, those are some investments to look at. Other things to think about, we may see uh, the Tolvium and Cinnabar and all those things, and Asmodium and Runic Leather and all that go through the roof because those patterns I talked about, I, I haven't seen one, but I they supposedly use an insane amount of that stuff is what they said in the patch notes. So depending on how much it uses, we may see those go up like crazy, at least the first week where people are just so curious and they just want to burn them just to find out. So those ones may actually go through the roof if that's the case. We'll have to see. Azoth vials are going to crash into the ground. Uh, big, big, big economy changes on this on this patch, man. Like, so much stuff's going to change, probably. It's just hard to say exactly what. I'm just giving you guys my best pointers, showing you guys what I see. And, uh, like, even I'm unsure about a lot of this stuff, but I just wanted to share the things that I'm looking at and I'm curious about and what I'm seeing and thinking about it so that you guys can also add your own thoughts to it, make your own decisions. And, again... Server by server, because I mean, some of these servers you guys are on, especially when you're on those super low pop ones, you don't even know if any of this is going to make any sense at all. So that's why you got to you got to put your own thinking cap on. You got to make your own decisions. Okay, I can only provide you with information. I can't I can't tell you what your server is going to be like. I'm on one of the highest pop servers in the game, so mine's always going to be a little bit different. So uh, those are things, though. Those are some good investments and good changes to look at. Uh, things are going up. Things are going down. So expect changes in patch 1.2, which hopefully will be coming out this week. But hopefully this video helps you out. Now you have a better idea of what to invest in or divest in before the patch goes live.